Max, last time we talked for the internet, uh, we were talking about the development of the Aprilia. Here we are in Monza. Uh, how far since uh, maybe three races ago, Valencia, uh, two races weekends ago, uh, has the bike come forward? You then talked about how you had lots of power, but it was perhaps too much power and it needed to be balanced out. Yeah, more or less what I think, you know, with a 1,000cc machine, like uh, V4 on line 4, it's not the biggest difficulties to find a power. But of course, to find a, a, a power, power curve very linear is the most difficult things. So, of course, on this machine there is the power, but uh, not yet the power delivery who, you know, make you go faster, you know. Because as you know, the power is almost nothing if you cannot control the power. But uh, especially when you are in the situation then you cannot go with a softer rubber and you have to use medium and hard tires. So the traction is very difficult to find uh, just with the chassis and suspension. So two races ago and now we are in almost in the same line. We didn't get any, any good step forward now. I think that's... Uh, we'll need some more time, you know, and uh, overall, if you think in two races uh, to make big step, it's very, you know, unusual. Top speed, obviously, here at Monza, very good, though, over 320 kilometers in the main straight. Yeah, you know, it's, it depends, you know. For me, uh, if I have a choice, I prefer to go 315, 1.5, but to go early, to get the power early, so it means the acceleration is stronger. But anyway, it's better to have uh, speed than to not have any speed, especially in Monza. The good thing is uh, about, uh, you know, what we are planning is to make the bike more stable on brakes, you know, because if you cannot stop the speed, you know, it's uh, almost uh, not good to have uh, too much speed and if, if you have to brake too early. But so far, we know this is a, a problem where we need to focus and do some more, even with electronics. For your fans, do you think looking ahead to Kyle Army and to Miller in America, the data is not so strong for everybody there because Kyle Army we didn't go to since 2000 and Miller only last year. So maybe a, a possibility to get better results there? Well, who knows? At the moment, uh, you know, South Africa, we've been testing there in November, everybody. So I think from there, for sure, we're getting better. Uh, also, the other guy getting better, but maybe we get it. We make a bigger step for what we start. And uh, for Miller, you know, it's a brand new for us. But you know, maybe good. You know, uh, what I'm, I want just to be uh, on, on on control to use the machine. And uh, at the moment, the the best uh, situation for us was Qatar. At uh, what uh, explain you that is not only my results, but also my teammate. It was in the top 10. In other race, you see, you have more trouble. But when you have seniors going uh, 6, 8, 10, for sure, I can challenge for winning. So, so far, also, he's struggling. But uh, I cross the finger and hopefully in uh, South Africa and Miller to get uh, less trouble on the machine and uh, to be stronger. But in general, obviously, early days for the Aprilia, are you... Happy or frustrated because you know you can no, be well, better? Well, of course, uh, the frustration is a part of a uh, fast rider or winning rider. But I know and knew this kind of project, maybe some question mark, but this is a medium term uh, uh, prospect. You know, I know it's not now because this is a no fair. It's, I know it's going to be next year and the year after it will be the best you can get out of this bike. But uh, already we get some very good uh, feeling. The feedback we get in Qatar was fantastic. I hope to do some more races like that because it gives us also some good effort and some uh, you know, satisfaction. Because all this group is working hard. Me too, but uh, well, we need some satisfaction. You know? and hopefully the next two Grand Prix we can get some. Best of luck. Grazie. Ciao. Grazie.